Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Seki Man, and this is going to be episode 65 of my Baltic Crusader Achievement Run. Now, first things first, I have to apologize because my game crashed, and you guys missed, I think, literally two days of gameplay. So all I did was unpause it and uh, just tried to show you who, all the nations that joined. So let's just do that again. This is... Uh, what's going on? Oh my god, guys. So apparently the game crash... Oh god, so I, I lost time because the game crashed. So I'm not sure how much time I lost here. Oh my god. Okay, so I just lost the Declaration of War. So actually, yeah, you might be seeing a little bit because of what happened. Alright, so let's do this again. Alright. Okay, so there's our war declaration. And we're going to show you who's going to join in a second. It's going to be a lot. No, screw you, screw you. I don't care. Uh, can't core still. All right, so let's see who joins. Oh, thank you. Ten years of relentless drill. Okay, well, I guess the game crashing wasn't that bad because I certainly didn't have that event. This is going to be amazing for us, so thank you, God, for that. All right, so there you go. There's everybody joining. Now, the good news is is they're a little bit distracted in their own wars, so uh, this could be a little advantageous for us. Right. What might be wise is to just invade Hungary first and get rid of him as soon as possible. The thing is, is we don't have any... I mean, we have a good general. So I don't want to use him, actually... We're going to let him float. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So much anxiety at the moment. Uh, so I'll leave these guys here. They'll, and then what we're going to do is... What I want to do is be very, very well protected, obviously. So we're going to move our troops, kind of unify them a bit here. So let's show you what I'm at war with in the numbers. We have a huge number advantage, obviously. Just a gigantic number advantage. That doesn't mean, you know, we got this war in the bag. But um, I'm going to send my heavy ships down. Uh, so we can blockade. And we might as well take out these forts. I mean, these little... Yeah, we may as well. There's no reason not to. Make sure we're well defended. And we're not uh, overzealous here. But this is going to be a little scary. Let's go to speed 3. The, the last thing I want to do is get separated, right? And it could be easy to do. Because this is going to be a large front war... The AI clearly gets advantages in the sense that they can, you know, micromanage a lot easier than we can. A lot more efficiently, too. Group up. Group up here. Okay, so... Take a look again. Who are we at war with up here? Alright, we'll... we'll Get rid of these guys as soon as possible. <sighs> then we'll focus our attentions mostly on Hungary. So we can piece him out as soon as possible. In the meantime, let's just keep fabricating all over our next war uh, target. Now, Rebels, I, I didn't want to increase autonomy here. But actually, we're going to. And I want to build a fort here, I think. Maybe no. Not yet. I guess we can't. Uh, but we are going to increase autonomy. I just, I, I can't deal with rebels. I mean, I can. It's just, I would rather be much more focused on the task at hand. Uh, yeah, let's just do it everywhere. Fuck it. Right? Let's just make sure we are have the least amount of rebels as we can. And we're going to do it here, too. And that should take care of our revolt risk for the most part. Alright, so, so far, 
Again, they should be focused on France, right? He's he's in multiple wars right now. Yeah, look at that. Hungary, on the other hand, he will be a little bit more focused, I think. Let's split up. I don't. There's no reason taking attrition. Oh man, am I anxious, guys? I I hope you're as excited as I am. This is this is a very uh, unique opportunity we have here. And, uh, yeah, I, I just want to take it. And when we can, when we peace out hungry, I want to get another a royal marriage with him, too. Okay. Move down and defend our troops. I shouldn't be using my monarch, and I'm not going to. It's too dangerous, too risky. Can we? Yeah, we can. Let's go for it then. Do we have any more troops we can bring up? Uh, we have one down here. One army down there. Little tiny guy up there. Uh, some smaller guys around here. I think it's... Probably okay to be situated the way I am. We have revolt risk where... No. Rupin. Where's, okay, that's because I'm I'm converting Rupin, right? Altmark. Why? Why do we have revolt risk there? Mark Altmark. Right here. Why? Oh, we're also converting Altmark. Okay. Good. The uh, Chernigov. That's nothing. Okay, great. Okay, so we can stay focused. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, it, you, you guys might be like laughing at me, like thinking, because I mean, if you look at the numbers, we have such a huge advantage. But Austria's armies and Hungary's, they, their generals are insane, and then they, their discipline, their morale is really good. Speaking of which, uh, is there any advisor? Okay, we already have a discipline advisor. That's fine. That's fine. And I really want to get the next idea group, or idea, sorry, not group. Because it gives us another 15 morale. So that'll help even the odds out. Okay, we're doing really good in the north. Uh, we can get rid of Saxe Lauenburg at some point. I want to push in more against um, uh, Hungary here. But uh, I think we're fine. <laughs> Let's just take this slowly. I don't care. Take my freaking lousy cardinal. That's not important to me. Now, the way the AI usually works is he'll peace out France as soon as he can and focus his attention on us. And again, it's a little frustrating, but it, it makes a lot of sense, I think. Another reason I'm so excited about this war is this is actually going to be probably our most challenging war for the rest of the campaign. I mean, we might get some massive coalition wars later, but um, over the last so many years, this has certainly been... Uh, this is obviously the most challenging for us. So much to claim. Okay, we're busted the walls here. I like that. Busted the walls here. Wow, we're really almost done. I saw an army. And we're making ducats, even at war, so are fully maintained. Uh, that's really good. But I saw an army coming up this way. I'm not surprised. Hey, come on. Hey, it. Good. We have a uh, colony done. Fantastic. Uh, where else do I want to go? Mm. Oh, look at that. How cute. Little Brittany. Aren't you the, a little special colonizer? <laughs> uh, okay, we're done. I don't care about that one. We can rip you out and we'll send you down here. Uh, Verden wants peace. Uh, sure, Verden. Well, what are you going to offer me? If you can, I want my... Not enough. I need 242 ducats. I mean, it's probably all he has, but... No, he was holding out, that little jerk. 
Okay, we have Force Religion. Yeah, why not? Okay, so Verden's out. I mean, that's not a huge... Um, it's not, like, critically important at all. But... That's less armies. I mean, they'll, they'll be able to field, you know, 14, 15,000 troops, so... It's still something. Where's our fleet? Okay, our fleet is almost there. We can, uh... We'll dock up for now. Alright, we can almost core Niederlauschen. Let's see. Come on, guys. It's interesting. So far, nobody is coming after us yet. But they're on their way. That, I can be kind of sure of. Oh no, we got discovered. Oh no! Okay. Good. Very good. So that should be enough for Saxe Lauenburg. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go back to the Ottomans later. I, I just really want my my armies be in a position where they're going to be most effective, and the, up here is kind of worthless. All right. Good. Good. Oh man, am I excited. They don't even have a navy, do they? No. So maybe we can go blockade with you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, game. That's a thousand ducats. Uh, actually, can I upgrade ships? I can. Alright, let's do that. We need to. We'll go back to. Do I even need to go back to Novgorod? I don't think so, do I? No, I don't. Um, so, 87 is pretty good here. Let's go back to the Baltic, yeah. And... Cool, that event paid for upgrades, pretty much. Okay, we can pace you guys out. Back to Lomberg. Oh, no, we can't. He's in a union. All right, well. So I guess we can go back to fabricating then. Oh, we just got a ton of more discovery. That's kind of cool. See what we can see now. Uh, well, we can see the whole world except for North America and South America. So pretty good. Sorry, I keep bumping the microphone. It's got to be pretty annoying. Um, sorry, guys. One sec. Episode is just flying by. Nothing really happening. Next place we're going to go for is this fort in his capital. Okay, we are blockading. That's good. But, I mean, making progress here is so hard. Well, we made a little bit of progress. Nice. Okay, so we took a fort. Let us move a little bit forward. Just creep ahead. Actually, we're going to give you the good general. Just, I don't know where Hungary is and what he's up to, so. Nothing yet. I don't know what the AI is doing. It's kind of freaking me out a bit. <laughs> okay. Wow, we have to do all that end around. All right, well, let's keep. Let's just keep moving in a bit. Slowly but surely. I want that I want to siege down his capital. That'll get him out of the war. I mean once Hungary's out of the war, I'll feel a lot more comfortable. 
I think it's really important. And then, I mean, from there we can march on Ween and Maron. Okay, so... I think we're safe to move one army out. Whew, man, oh man. Now the question is, do I take land? I don't think I want to take land from Hungary. I think as soon as we peace them out, I want to get a royal marriage with them again. Because that would just be absolutely amazing to have Austria and Hungary as my vassals. Union bitches, however you want to refer to them as. Okay, we're almost done uh, annexing uh, Norway, so probably like a year away. There's no point taking attrition like that. Oh man, am I excited. Oh, it's so nice to... <coughs> <coughs> oh, this cold. It's so nice to be able to get a union. I mean, we just uh, changed our government type not too long ago from a theocracy or... Uh, what was it called? Not theocracy. Well, I forget the name of it, but I had devotion and I had a land meester. Now we're a kingdom, an empire. Actually, I could reform my government too. Yeah. I think I should be doing. I'm not sure what's available right now. And I should go up my, my get my civility up from zero. No, Altmark. Okay, so why don't we put an army in Altmark? So close. Yeah, let's do that. Still nothing from Hungary and uh, Austria. That's really good. Oops. Don't need to do that. Collect a Bukhara. Alright, our ships are healed up, so why don't we... Actually, he... Yeah, he's, he seems really busy down there. We should blockade. What has the most? I mean, two courts. Nothing really great. We can always split up our navy. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we'll just drop blockades everywhere. Drop a block. France. Okay, Krakow is fallen. Fantastic. Okay, we're we're making good progress here, finally. Positive. It's nice. <clears throat> okay, there you go. There's something. Wow. All right, we'll just sit here then. I'm not sure what you're up to. I don't think he knows what he's up to. Oh, we can convert Altmark now. Great. You might be trying to invade me down here. Okay, another core came in. Great. Okay, we awesome. Took Hamburg. Fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, I don't know, I guess we should start moving this way, right? 
but let's do it a little slowly. Let's see about reforming our government again. Let's see what we can do. What are the options? Split monarchy. Constitutional monarchy. That's pretty nice. Absolute's really good though. Discipline, unrest. I mean, the autonomy is better. Separation is really good. Separatism, sorry. Uh, separation. Legitimacy is okay. Hmm. This is giving us production and tax and autonomy, so that's pretty good. We'll be losing money if we change government forms. Maybe I want to boost stability first. Ah, can't decide. So, you know, for now we're just going to leave it and we'll boost our stability. <clears throat> and we'll worry about that later. For now, we invade. I don't want to invade Austria until this fort falls. Yeah, there we go. That's a little scary. Of course, there are two star generals. Oh, yes, we can get the morale. Please, yes, please, thank you. That is going to be very helpful. Good. Oh, Austria is dishonoring all their ally calls. Come on, great. Okay, let's go. Ooh, man, oh man. Okay, we have a diplomat free, so... Curious, how close are you to wanting to peace out? You would peace out right now. A thousand ducats would be very nice, so... Doesn't want to fight me yet. But that'll change soon. Peacing out... Where are you going, buddy? Piecing out Hungary is really important. Oh boy, yep. That's a big army. But I think we're okay ish. The morale is going to make a big difference in our fighting. Okay, so once this fort falls, we should get the thousand ducats that I desperately want. I'm greedy. Won't lie. Irvon, sure. Come on. Not sure what you're up to. Take pests. Take the capital. It's all we need. Man, that's a big army. Oh, that's a scary big army. But he's is he still at war with France? He sure is. And he's winning. So I wanna the thing is is I don't want France to take too much land here. That's okay. We can always declare war on France to take his course back. So never mind. It doesn't matter. Beating up France will be glorious, right? Hurry up. Stop failing. Stop failing. Hmm. 
We are getting awfully close to finishing our... Come on, man. Stop fucking failing. Really, an 8 is a fail? Norway's almost done. Once this falls, man. Once this falls. Okay. Great. Okay, so what I want to do now... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to Ween now. Okay, let's peace out Hungary. Anything war reps? Sure can. Okay, that doesn't black flag me. Thank God. A little worried about that. Okay, we need the Royal Mary uh, hungry again. Yes, we do. Hungry, I know you're not happy with me. I actually still is pretty happy with me. That's hilarious. I'd love to peace out Austria as soon as possible. Obviously. Okay, we're doing it guys, oh, nope, nope, all right, we just sit here, we lost the claim, whew, well, nothing you can do about it now, pretty sure it doesn't matter when you're already at war for the CB, that would be hilarious if it was a change or something silly, <laughs> What do I need? 84%. We are a long ways away. That's okay. Shouldn't have done that. There's France. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we've integrated Norway. Gorgeous. And what's this? New Norway has a high liberty desire, huh? Uh, what can I do to make you happy, New Norway? Let's see. What's the place that we know? Placate local ruler. Uh, I could do that. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll placate the local ruler. Why not? There you go. We've integrated Norway. What? We failed to incorporate Norway in our mission? Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> What <laughs> are you talking about? So we have revolt risk everywhere. That I'm not a big fan of. Uh, that's why. Rebels. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Well, you know what? Let's just increase autonomy. Um, this land, I, I just don't care. I, I, I don't want to fight rebels right now. I don't even want to think about rebels right now. I saw that. I saw that. No, I do not want your cannons. Thank you, though. Let's make sure I'm not building units somewhere, other units I don't want or need. All 
All right. Absolutely over here we need to deal with rebels. Is there anywhere else I'm forgetting? Ah, these little islands. Ooh, that also means we can fabricate all over Scotland's territories. I don't think Scotland exists. So England, great. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Crappy missions. Um, and we'll make our crew relations here. He's not happy. He is not happy. Okay, guys, I gotta end the episode here, unfortunately. It's been dragging on way too long, but, uh, everything looks really good for us, I'd say. Absolutely looks really good for us, so. I'm actually don't care about these guys too much. Let's just get back. Maybe. Uh, you know, we'll keep that. Yeah. Where's my... Go back home. And you guys can, I don't know, go here. Okay, so this is going to do it for the episode, guys. So we'll come back next time for the conclusion of our uh, war with Austria to claim his throne. It's looking really good. So thanks for joining, everybody. Have a good one.